There are two types of diabetes, type 1 and type 2. Type 1 you can not help, and type 2 which is caused by consuming too much sugar. About one third of people don't know they have diabetes. Today we have a guest to share his life experience. Would you mind introducing yourself? Hello, I am Gerald Adams, I'm a 34 year old man who has type 2 diabetes. Do you think your diet whilst you were younger could have affected this? Of course, yes, massively. Um, I think one of the things of when you're a little kid, you don't think about consequences of eat, uh, eating or drinking uh, sugary drinks and eating uh, sugary food. I think it massively affected uh, the upbringing I had. What foods do you reckon affected it the most? Uh, I used to consume uh, about three to four packs of crisps a day. I used to spend about, about three quid, three, four quid roughly on sweets by themselves within two to three days overall. I think I used to drink about four cans of Coke when I was younger. Um, I also used to go to bed with a packed lunch, which was full of sugar. Um, and after dinner, I used to um, have like a massive dessert. Like I used to have like ice cream or chocolate cake or chocolate pudding. So yeah. How did this affect your body from when you were younger? So when I was a child, I used to have uh, like a problem with my feet. I used to get quite a lot of foot infections. Uh, from when, I, when I got older, it's caused it's nearly caused me to have uh, a leg chopped off. Um, I've also had skin problems, so I get a lot of eczema everywhere. Um, I also uh, have a increase in uh, heart attacks, so there's every chance I can have a heart attack. Um, and overall, it just it I have to keep an eye on what I eat overall. Yeah. Advice that you would give to the younger generation now to help them and to stop diabetes. Um, so I would personally go to a doctor and ask whether they can test you for diabetes. Uh, but for the younger generation, massively, you have to keep an eye on what you're eating, and you have to make sure that you're you're not overeating and loads of sugars. But you also have to think that you're not invincible uh, with diabetes and any other diseases overall. Thank you, Mr. Adams, for your time and your life story. It was really moving. No problem.